Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. Now, in the last couple of screencasts, I started mentioning precedents. Today, we're going to start taking a look at how that operates. Notice this, 2 plus 3 squared. Now, I mentioned that everything operates left, right, but it goes unary, binary, keyword. So the first thing to execute is going to be 3 squared, giving us 9, and then you add 2 to get 11. So let's try that out. Do a print it, and sure enough. So 2 raised to 3 plus 2. You should get 3 plus 2 first, then 2 raised to the fifth. So let's see how that works print it, and sure enough you get what I expected. So notice, binary first, keyword after that. So here we have a binary, a binary, and a keyword. So we should get the point 0 at 0, extent sent to the point with the point 100 at 200 as an argument. So this is the receiver, the message, the object. So we should get this, do a print it, and sure enough that's what we get. So you notice the way this operates. Unaries come first, binaries become second, keywords are executed last and if you have similar precedents meaning two unaries, two binaries, two keywords, whatever it goes left to right. So here we have th negative three absolute negated reciprocal we'll just go straight left to right. Negative three we get AVS sent to it followed by negated sent to that followed by reciprocal sent to that. So we have it in left right order let's try that out, do a print it and sure enough that's what we get. So you see exactly how this works. We go left right doing unaries, binaries, keywords. Without parentheses, keep in mind keywords are going to come across as one big long message. So if you have multiple keywords, you absolutely need parentheses. Let's go on to the next and see how some of this stuff works. Use parentheses to change the order of evaluation. As I mentioned, 2 plus 3 squared. You want the squared sent to the result of this, so you need to do that. So 5 squared should come out of this. That's what we get. Again, 2 raised to 3, we want this keyword to happen before this binary, use parentheses. Again, we want this keyword to happen before this unary, so we have parentheses, so you see the way that works. So we'll send that, and that's what we end up with. So if you want to change the default order of precedence, you absolutely need to use parentheses to do it. If you don't include parentheses, it'll go in the order I mentioned before, left to right, unaries first, binary second, keywords last, the most common error new small talkers make, and for that matter experienced small talkers make, is to not use parentheses and send keyword messages they didn't expect to send. So, that's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.